I'm really into my coffee creamer and let me tell you I switched from delight French vanilla to Chobani and I've tried like so many of them I bought this one twice now. This is just the Chobani sweet cream. Love it. No crazy flavoring But it's so good because it's like thick That's why I like oat milk and I like alternatives to actual milk and then this one is the Chobani French vanilla one You can't go wrong. I've also had the maple glazed donut 10 out of 10 recommend if you want something sweet to add to your coffee and make your house smell like a maple glazed donut. I've also tried pumpkin spice. Not bad, not bad. You have to be into pumpkin though. If you're trying to find some type of alternative for whatever creamer you're using and you want to do something that is just like a little cleaner, I'm not saying Chobani is like the end all be all, but maybe try making a switch to Chobani's creamers. These are the non-dairy ones. They do have dairy ones as well. I just don't use those. Okay, let's finish this morning routine. I may not be able to bring my whole vlog camera outside, but I can use my phone, okay? Bronx is doing his morning haunting of everybody that walks around the lake. I just gotta let the kid live. Anyway, you guys, it's been forever since I've actually talked to you. Welcome to my vlog. I just wanted to pick the vlog camera up today so we can catch up, I can run you through everything, and we can just have a girl moment. I haven't actually talked to you since Lift LA. And once I left Lift LA, you guys know that I was like unwell and I was down bad. So I came home, I slept for like the next two days. I was so exhausted. I think I got home at like 4 p.m. JJ picked me up from the airport. And then when we got back, I just slept the whole day. I wasn't around so many germs and I was meeting people for obviously like a week straight and around new people, which is totally fine. I didn't feel awful to the extent where I was like, I'm gonna die, but I definitely was not doing well. I recovered from that and then I went back to Kansas to go get my IUD out. And I know you guys are like, girl, we've been talking about this forever. It's probably been three weeks now since I got my IUD out, almost a month. And I wasn't doing it because I was experiencing like hormonal issues. But I said before in a vlog, like, I guess I won't know until I'm able to reflect and be like, oh, that was how my hormones were making me act or feel or whatever it may be. I have to say, if anybody is contemplating getting an IUT out, getting one in, whatever it may be, I had a great experience with mine. I had not so great experiences with other birth controls, which I've talked about in my other videos. Getting it in, oh my gosh, awful, awful. Oh my gosh, I had mine for five years. Getting it in, they basically like initiate period cramps. I will say getting it out, a breeze. I had no issues. It was one second long. I was like, no issue at all so i had the kylina iud which is the lowest dose hormone iud at the time and it still may be so i'm hoping that i won't go through like crazy withdrawals or anything like that so far so good only thing that i will say is i've experienced withdrawal bleeding which is to be expected because when we're using birth control we're not actually having a real period it's like a pseudo period because the birth control is telling our body like oh this is the time when you should be bleeding x y and z so when you get it out i started my natural cycles that day and it's basically like okay this is now day one of your cycle and i experienced withdrawal bleeding for probably like a week maybe a couple extra days but it dwindled down over time i feel great i didn't feel awful before like i said but you know especially living with my partner i have lived with jj for seven years almost and he's only known me to be using some form of birth control i'm like do i seem any different to you think that i I had a really short patience for a long time or I was just easily irritable and I didn't realize that might have been from the birth control. He's like, you're so much more go with the flow. I don't know. I feel like I have more patience. I just feel a weight lifted off my shoulders. I wasn't hating being on birth control, but I was very eager and excited to get off of it because I wanted to learn my body, no synthetic hormones in it. And the day that I got it out, I started my natural cycles, which you guys know, that's the reason I even got my aura ring. Now with natural cycles, it helps you to either plan or prevent pregnancy. And I'm telling you right now, I'm like, I'm like, JJ, get away from me. We'll update on that journey a little bit later. Once I got home from Lift LA, because I was feeling so down bad and I was feeling so sick, you guys, I was drinking liquid IV. This is the story of how I like nearly poisoned myself without knowing it. And it's my own fault, 100%. Now, I love liquid IV. Once I was sick, I was like, I just really need to stay hydrated and keep my fluids up. I was drinking my liquid IV. Every time that I filled up my Simple Modern with water, I was adding a liquid IV to every single one. So eventually, for like three or four days, I started having these headache migraines. I Google, and I'm like, how many liquid IVs can you have a day? You guys, it said no more than one. One a day. I was having three to four. Okay, electrolyte overload. Too much sodium, too much sugar. No wonder my brain like was not working. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me today. I like these little chats. If you guys like having these little morning coffee chats, let me know.
You guys, I am at Dandelion Cafe. I'm gonna eat with Sam and then we're gonna go to our vintage shopping. I'll tell you about it when we get there, but I am excited to eat food because I'm starving. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's only 87 out. She's so cute. She's a mammoth. She's a cutesy little ladybug. We just finished at Dandelion Cafe and it was actually so delicious. Very hot because there's very minimal AC, but Houston's just hot in general. I got the full avocado toast and it was really, really good. Had a good little amount of lemon in it. And then also had like pickled scallions on top, which I loved. And it came with a side of fruit. So I feel like it's inexpensive. It is women owned. So if you guys are in Houston, branch out, come to Bel Air and grab you some Dandelion Cafe because it's also so vibey and the staff is incredible. Next, we're going to Vengeance Supply to see what we can get for $5 a pound. Hey you guys, I'm back from Vintage Supply and I'm back from being in Houston. I'm gonna throw all of these things in the washer real quick because who knows where they've been. But first, I'm just gonna give you a little haul of everything. I guess that usually it's like $10 a pound and today it was $5 a pound. I think I had like 11, nearly 12 pounds. It's gonna look insane and these are definitely like, um, they've been used and whatnot. But I got these Carhartt overalls and they're like a dark green. I also rearranged my office, by the way, you guys. This little sweater. I'm feeling as if I could crop it and it could be a moment. Okay, I got this so I can cut it up. It's a Winnie the Pooh hoodie jacket. I know I'm crazy for doing this in Houston, but it's nice. I don't even know the brand, but look at the inside of it. Okay, and it's literally, I can feel that this was like, it was definitely an animal. Okay, I got this little polo button up. Just because of the way that it drapes and falls and the fabric of it just feels very, very worn. Where it's almost like cozy. A million different types of bins that you could find stuff in, but I didn't want to get too crazy, but I did find all those, I feel like, for the fall time. My favorite one is definitely the Carhartt overalls. I'm going to give you a little look-see at my office because you guys know that my desk used to be right in front of my window. I've arranged things. I've moved my shoes out of this room into the closet. I just laid everything out here. Now, I've moved my mirror to this wall over here. I feel like it opens up the space so much. I just put it in the corner here. And then we have empty wall. This is where I have, like, my rest day stuff and new gym shirt that I need to put away as well as my gym bag. And then this is now where I have my desk. It used to just be just my artwork over there. And then I had the clothing rack here. My mirror was just flush on this wall in the center. I feel like this opened up the space so much. This is my little desk. I love her. I love my iMac. And I have my either candle warmer or coffee warmer. I can do OOTDs right here. Today's OOTD I'm wearing. This top is from Abercrombie. Speaking of vintage, it's like a vintage shirt, 1988. But definitely paid more for it than I... Probably should have. And then I have these new Abercrombie jeans. Like this was kind of nifty. I don't know. I low-key covered it up today on purpose because I thought it was weird with this outfit. But then I'm wearing my new New Balances. These are my new 550s. I got three pairs of new New Balances. So I'll show you the other ones as well. I'm going to bring you guys with me for this week because tomorrow Marissa and I just decided let's plan something sporadic because we sit on FaceTime all the time. Both of our lovers are like, why don't you guys just see each other? So we said, okay, we'll take that to heart. And we just booked a trip to Chicago. So we're going to go for the weekend. Today I'm prepping to go. I am going to head to the gym this morning and then I have a call at one about life insurance. Like Louie's a big kid. It's so weird, but hey, I'm taking care of everything that I need to. But I wanted to give you guys an OOTD. Today I'm wearing the adapt fleck i love the adapt fleck it's probably one of the most slept on ranges one of my favorite ranges it just is fantastic so this is the little cap sleeve top okay i'm not wearing a bra with it i feel like the underband kind of holds me in and the marled thickness conceals any nippage that could be there I look like volleyball shorts right now because i've just been moving around this morning these are the flex shorts i wish that these came in like cycling length because these are quite short i won't lie and it kind of cuts off my butt but you know what i sacrifice it because i love these so much. I did my little slick braid as usual and then I'm gonna do shoulders today but I'm wearing my new New Balances. These are the 530s. I have to show you guys the other two pairs I got actually. You guys know I have this obsession with New Balances. I just love them so much. My favorites are the 9060s and I have three pairs of those which you guys have seen before. And then I recently I got into 530s because I don't know there's people that are like really into their J's and dunks and things like that and I never was that person but I liked the style of these shoes and the fact that there's color on different ones if that makes sense. So this is my version of like J's and dunks. 
chunks because I never caught that wave, okay? So I started with this blue pair because the others were all sold out. So I said, you know what? I'll just get the blue. These are the 550s and I just love them. I love the color. So fun, so cute. Can dress it up, dress it down, whatever. And then I saw these on the site. I originally really wanted the green, but they were sold out forever. Now these ones are like, these are a cream and green. And I feel like these are perfect for fall. I've only worn them like one or two times, but I love them. This is what the back looks like. These are also 550s. I have all of these linked on my like to know it if you guys want to shop them as well as the ones I'm wearing. All my shoes are on there. And then these ones I have yet to wear, but I ordered them at the same time as the green ones and the ones I'm wearing right now. These are another pair of 550s and they're just this like beigey tan. I feel like they're perfect for fall time. And my three 550s, a pair of 530s, and then I think I have three 9060s. But you guys know I love my shoes. I'm gonna put these away. I already ate breakfast and had my coffee this morning and we're gonna do shoulders today. Guys, I'm going to Chicago. Chicago, Chicago. I'm excited. I told you about how I nearly poisoned myself and like went into organ failure, I'm sure, by drinking a liquid IV every single time I filled up my tumbler. Oh my gosh. So I did that thinking that liquid IV was just like a flavoring packet. And I don't know why I didn't just like process like, girl, the sodium is so high, the sugar is so high, you're going to have headaches. So I went to the store and I got some flavor packets. I really need to check out Water Talk because I know they've got all the goods and everything like that. But I went ahead and got a few different flavors to add to my water of True Lime lemonade so i got watermelon i got strawberry and then raspberry as well and then just jj just decided that he was going to get a crystal light package you guys have any other recommendations of literally just water flavors that are not like going to take me out let me know because i really like the watermelon that's what i've been drinking right now and it's just so delicious i have to tell you about another new obsession well not even a new obsession if you guys have a sprouts near you y'all know i'm a sprouty i used to work there so did jj i love their bulk section now these I will buy like a four pound bag of these and these are their honey coated pecans. Oh my gosh. I've talked about this on my story. They're so good. Like such a good little treat. If you just need something sweet, look at this. That thing is so coated. I'm obsessed and they're so crunchy. Look at that. Do you see that? So many layers of sweetness. Go buy a couple pounds. Go buy it. Just try it out. I promise you if you're a sweets lover and a sweet tooth kid like me, you gotta get extra just in case you run out, okay? I know the SKU number is 17280. Might not be at every location, but go to Sprouts. Tell me what you think, okay? Hey, sister just got off of her call. I have a whole note sheet. I'm a note taker. You should have seen how I was in school. I feel like I have a very good grasp of everything. Like life insurance as a 25 year old, I feel like people don't, first of all, don't talk about it. And second of all, people think it's only for like when you're older type of thing. But uh, I just obtained a lot of knowledge and information. And now I'm like, I love the fact that I can take care of things for the future right now. And also I will say that financial literacy is not common. Just like common sense is not so common. Get up on your financial literacy see it do do what you need to okay now i am going to grab the clips that i just filmed when i was at the gym and i'm going to edit them and get a post up for today on instagram and tiktok did you want to show your phone to everybody oh my goodness he lost his phone you guys but i want to give you a little story time because i'm gonna have to start packing since i leave tomorrow morning we chose this weekend the week of labor day i don't go on trips often unless it's for work you guys know i don't leave the house or anything and if we leave it's usually me and jj going to florida or something like that so that's happening literally tomorrow i'm gonna bring you guys with me in this vlog actually and then i'll probably vlog in real time on tiktok and instagram i'm sure but let me give you the story time as i start about what happened to my suitcase you guys know if you watch my la vlog lord help us so i flew from houston to la right packed my base luggage that i've had for a few years now okay love her i got her off of the carousel and this is what it looked like crumpled and i swear to you like if somebody can tell me what they did to this for all of this weird damage to have happened please because nobody can figure it out i swear they dropped it out of the plane and ran over it for fun i was like delta you have to fight the boss me so this other luggage company had reached out to me actually before this even happened and they just wanted to gift me some luggage and i said amazing i would love that so it couldn't have come at a better time they're called july and they're from australia look at this color it's stunning i said this is amazing thank you so much but i wasn't done with the fiasco of my actual luggage my bay's luggage because i love bays and this isn't the fault of bays i genuinely believe airlines hate hot girls that have bays 
And I think that they intentionally tried to destroy our stuff. And they also included a nice little carry-on. I actually got to customize this. And I put my last name here at the top of it. My bae's luggage, poor girl. She's just got to be retired. I was scared that they weren't even going to let me check this when I was coming back to Houston from LA. Thankfully, I did, but I had to get another suitcase from Gymshark. So these had come. I filed my claim with Delta. They were not having it. They were making things so difficult. They tried to tell me, oh, we can give you a credit towards our partner, Ricardo of Beverly Hills. And I'm sorry. I love that. That's amazing but Bayes is like that girl okay so I wanted my Bayes luggage of course and in the meantime I had posted an unboxing of my July luggage I said this is amazing because this is what just happened to my Bayes luggage okay so Bayes sees my TikTok where I didn't even mention like I didn't tag them or anything I think somebody must have and they DM'd me and they were like oh my gosh justice for the roller we've got to get you a new one these arrived Delta hasn't responded with anything like helpful other than let us give you this other luggage that you don't even want and then Bayes reached out and they're like let us get you a new one and I'm like okay great so now I'm like apparently the collector of luggage you guys and please keep in mind in the middle of this Calpac who I love my gym bag is Calpac back there they reached out hey we saw what happened with Libby's stuff let us send her in a whole array of new goodies and that hasn't come yet but you guys I'm like I only had one luggage that was destroyed and now I'm just gonna have a plethora of suitcases which love that I will say Bays did come through she can now be retired because Bays was so kind and they did send me brand new checked luggage so I just wanted to say thank you to them. Now I just got to find a place to stuff all of these and the cow pack ones that are supposed to be on the way because I don't know what to do with myself. But hey, can you really ever have too many luggages? Sometimes it just, you just need them. So the update is that like two days ago, Delta reached out and after I said, no, thank you, I'd like a refund and I showed them like, the date of purchase and the amount they did issue a refund for me. So that should be hitting my account soon. Thank goodness, because I was like, how am I going to be out of the coins and then also out of the suitcase and then you guys are trying to replace it with this other brand you guys get it i'm glad that we found some type of resolution just a month later no big deal okay good morning we're literally about to leave i really wanted to do a carry-on luggage we didn't we did not accomplish that goal i literally packed that all night and i ended up saying you know what what if i shop what if i need extra space it's gonna be awful if I only have a carry-on. So I did grab my July luggage and I have my duffel bag here, but we're going to the airport. Um, I'm in she <laughs> We're in Chicago. Marissa just decided to take the train down here from Michigan. I waited for like 45 minutes because she was stuck on the plane. Man, you guys, let me tell you. I literally, we get here, we park at our gate and people are starting to get up and get their luggage. And then the pilot over the intercom is like, I am so sorry, everybody. <laughs> so sorry. This gate <laughs> is inoperable. So we've got to be pushed back and we've got to be moved to a different gate. So he's like, we're just going to go to the right to number 26. Then he comes back on. He's like, sorry, I mean the left. He said, never in my 26 years of flying for United have I experienced something like this. I apologize for the delay. So many people that have connections. I'm like, you know what? Not a single person made it, it to their I doubt it. It had to have been like 30 minutes for us to even like get pushed back and then repark. Not even like to then shuffle off the plane. We're here now. Hi. Thank goodness. Our first mission is to get food because we're just, we are inoperable right now. We're currently starving. And so we're walking to Sweet Green. Because I know Sweet Green. Where is that? Sweet Green. And then we're going to just browse. This city, and I think Brian's here, so we're gonna meet up with him. We're gonna see Brian. Oh, Brian. Brian. There's an orange series. But it's so beautiful. I haven't been here since. Look at this. She's gonna cancel immediately. Or F45, I'd be down for it. Okay. I brought Libby to Chicago just to get to be green. Slay! <laughs> and to do F45, that can be done in any city. Speaking of we're going to is right there on Michigan Street or Michigan Ave, which Shout out to the Michigander. We're also wearing the exact same outfit, you guys, except I'm wearing my Ugg boots. Marissa's wearing space hippies, but we have the same pants on and then the same hoodie, except I have the lighter version on. Slay, she's like, so cute. We're ready to eat. I'm trying to vlog backwards on my phone camera because I didn't bring my good one. Guys, I feel like this is so weird. Can you even see me? Let's hope for the best. Marissa's trying to for the first time today, you guys. This is amazing. Open? Am I not strong? Hey, you little pigeon. Guys, we stopped by Smoothie King, nice little blue slush, and then Marissa got Cosmic Stardust. We met up with Brian, of course, showing us around, even though this is his first time 
thing in Chicago. We ate sweet green and Marissa loved it. She got the same thing as me, which was the harvest bowl with no chicken. Instead I get tofu and the mushrooms. Delicious and then the lime cilantro dressing. From, oh, it's the bean. It's the bean. And it's under I've never seen the bean before. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Bean. Not all these tourists. You're so cute, <laughs> little bean. So, we just surfaced from the basement of Chicago, where there was like a, like a little food court, and we were gonna get like an acai bowl. It just wasn't the move. Yeah. Now we're going to Protein Bar and Kitchen. We got this little bowl to share yeah. from whatever the protein place was. I don't even know. Brian, what was the protein place called? Protein plus something. We got to see the food later. <laughs> so we have this salmon, some sweet potatoes, some quinoa mushrooms, and a little salad. May I try the um, coffee with cream and sugar? We're going to be up all night. Good night. All right. Cool. We've been walking in circles all night. Look, it's the book. We've been in, we've been in circles forever. We've That's so true. Before. We're walking near our hotel. If we get tired, we're just gonna get an Uber, but it's like a 40 minute walk and we've already got one minute down and it's 1.7 miles, but we've literally looped around the Chicago Burb city area so many times. So we're getting all of our steppies in. <laughs> Like, what was she going to do like, for okay. you? No, because Amazon, they can't validate or authenticate Cartier anymore, so you Why? might as well just, because the dupes have gotten so good. Might as well get them yeah, off of Amazon. Okay, let's go. You guys, we've been around Chicago all day. We literally got here today and stayed at our hotel for like five minutes, put our stuff down. And then we just ended up walking around the entire city. We met up with Brian when we went to go get food at Sweet Green. And it's currently 12.03 a.m. And we've just been out walking. I don't even know how many miles we've walked. It's been fun. We've been adventuring and exploring. We went in the same circle, I think, 46,000 times. We want to make sure that we go to the Starbucks Reserve because it's cutie there. And I want to see what the hype is all about. We're just winding down. I just hopped out of the shower. And we're going to chill out and scroll through TikTok probably. I think I'm going to do my curls tomorrow. But this is like, I swear like hotel shampoo and conditioner does not work for my hair it makes it feel it makes it feel like fucking straw just literally so awful so i'm adding my weed ad curl cream to my hair so i can braid it and sleep peacefully and not wake up with a whole rat's nest on my head i will say i think i like chicago more than new york new york is so insane and crazy and chicago is like the smaller dwindled down version of new york Skin done. Slay. I gotta take my contacts out and brush my teeth. Even though I want snacks, it's fine. Um, do you have contact solution? No. I'm no. It's okay. We'll just get some tomorrow because I brought new contacts. That's good. Good morning and welcome to my side of. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. We're waking up right now. We're gonna have a few greens. Marissa, I think it's raining. Oh, you guys, it's raining. <sighs> hey, you guys, our plan is to go to the Starbucks Reserve. <gasps> We've got to... Look, I can see it on the window. It's coming from the sky. Did I not brush my teeth yesterday? I'm a sick fuck. <laughs> oh, my God. I saw you put your retainer in. I know, but, like... This is my toothbrush right now, like not out of the package. That's so funny. We get Starbucks downstairs first and drink our little greens here and then we'll plan our day. I, I honestly feel like I packed so well for this trip, you guys. I might need to borrow some toothpaste. You can. This is my toothpaste right now. Marissa's so funny, guys. My, my friend lost it at Puerto Rico. Okay. It makes it wider. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But why doesn't mine zoom in as quick as yours? There's a setting. We could change it for you. Oh, change wait, there's settings, a setting? Then. Please. Okay. Brian's here. In three, two, one, we're going to change the zoom speed. Okay. This is what we're doing right now. This is the slow, steady zoom. Okay? See you in a sec. Whoa. No, sure this is the same. 
and fixed it. You guys, they both have like the normal same camera, but they don't have the wide angle lens. And mine is like so incredibly wide. different. This is like the Spider-Man meme. And it's like you're all pointing at Literally. Each other. Taylor, right. Taylor, and Taylor. And <laughs> people who vlog. Wait, the two back here, we're about to go outside and go to the Starbucks Reserve. Get some food there, and then Marissa really wants sweet green again. And I told her this is what happens. You become addicted to it. We're going to go there, but like, hair check. Cute. Marissa check. Brian check. Hey. I have this little new sweater. Let me give you an OTD. OTD. This little sweater is from Abercrombie. I just got it. And it's so cute. And then these pants are also Abercrombie and Converse. But it's still a little bit rainy and gloomy outside. So I wanted to bundle up because I know my body is used to the heat. And it's going to be chilly here. So I'm going outside. Because we got our first Starbucks indoors at our hotel. Fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood, body giving sin of views. I'm just saying I'm amused. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know, and proof. But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try too hard. Number one fan, your side up, Lord. Let me think about it, side the most. Words go deep, it's like a swap. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women, they not on your level, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving seen the views I'm just saying I'm a mule But you ain't even flexing And you cool, tatted it up, cover wounds Different vibe, you know ain't proof But you ain't even flexing But you ain't even flexing But you ain't even flexing No, you're literally slaying. Oh, you're honored to slay. Really you guys That's what I'm looking Do at. Do it. Here. Join us. Vlog your life. You're okay. I want this. They're out of stock. If you want, you can take a picture. So cute. Yeah. Do they have a little pocket? Video of this? Okay. Ryan, I got one for you too. You're I don't beautiful. Yeah. There it is when I get, when I elope. <laughs> I've decided an elopement. Okay. We just went to... Missouri. I have never been to a storefront, but I really wanted to go because I struggle to find the right sizes for my rings and stuff. Had a couple earrings that I wanted to get, as well as rings. Marissa had never gone into a storefront either, and I just found out they had one in Houston. We had the best little team helping us. They were so, so sweet. Three different rings and then a set of earrings. Ryan's taken us to eat, but they also gave us these cute little merch bags. A little bit chilly. I'm so alone. Good thing I wore the right clothes. Day. Ryan was supposed to leave. He went all the way to the airport. Turns out he decided he couldn't get enough of hanging out with us in the great city of Chicago. So he came back and now it's midnight. We just ordered food. He's trying to go out. Not feeling that. Y'all know. Not about that life. Shut it down. But we have this velvet taco. It's my first time trying it. I got shrimp tacos, I believe, because they're both not super spicy. I can't keep up with those two over there. Marissa and I are sharing this bed because we're donating mine to Brian because his flight got delayed. So he just had to reschedule so he can go back to New York tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We're walking around and we're getting some breakfast right now at the Corner Bakery, which they have this everywhere. It took us forever to order, but we just got the exact same thing, which was A some garden. garden. Scramble. Yeah. After this, we have to go to Sephora to get drunk elephant drops for Marissa because she really likes them. And then also, I need to get my Glossier brow flick instead of the Anastasia one. All right, we're sitting outside. Let me show you where. We're by the Museum of Ice Cream and Brian just went to get food, but Marissa and I just went to Sephora. I bought the Anastasia one and you guys, it just was not hitting. So I got another brow flick. The Anastasia one was just too dark and I got this lip liner, Iconic New from Charlotte Tilbury. The glow screen. This is the color Sunset from Supergoop because I think it's like my Drunk Elephant Drops. The reason we went there is because Marissa wanted the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops because she used mine today. They were out. She got K18. I told her it's good. I got the Tower 28 little spray for after I finished working out. I got this new Sol de Janeiro scent, the After Hours one. Oh yeah, I got the Refi Clear Lip Gloss. Bags from Missouri. 
I'm obsessed with this tote bag. It's my new purse. Sitting outside, I'll probably get a little bit of food inside of Foxtrot. And we're just gonna keep walking around, hanging out in the sun. It's beautiful out today. These are all my goodies. I got my Alani here. Tea time update. We sat outside for a little bit. Where's this literally right here? We are next to Foxtrot. We went inside and we got ourselves a smoked salmon avo toast or whatever. We got mushroom jerky. Should we try this right now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Um, it's scary. <laughs> Like a pile of deer food. Whoa, 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 that's crazy. It literally looks like deer food. <laughs> this is so crazy. Is this vegetarian? Yes. It, it feels like not vegetarian. It's so weird. Mushroom is like the closest thing. It's a good meat substitute. 7.5 out of 10. It's really meat-like. Mm -hmm. All right. This is how we all smoke salmon at our time. How long we've been walking, but we've now come up on Taste of Chicago, which I guess is like a food festival. And it was recommended to me on TikTok from you guys. It's crazy. I love it out here. Guys, I'm such a fan of Chicago. Look at this. Everybody's just hanging out. It's warm, but it's not like, it's not Houston, so I can deal with it. Living. Okay, I'm sliving out here. Hey, to update you, we came back to our room. I and left. He finally like went and got on his flight and everything. Marissa and I were like, let's take a five. Took a little mini power nap. Watched Naked Unafraid. Okay. Just got up so we could get ready because we really want to go to Gorgiana and look at some more jewelry pieces. So we're just going to Uber there because we've walked this entire city so many times every single day. It's really cool because we went to this place like, of Chicago, which was cool just to see and everything. But it was so far away because we're staying on the Magnificent Mile, Central, I would say. So we got to go up north to go to Gorgiana. We'll see what else there is. And then I think we might meet up with a friend and see what the dealio is there. Our stomachs are touching our back and we're hungry. We're a little bit more revived, I think. Like if we just tried to keep going, probably would have crashed. Would have been in at like 8 p.m. or something like that. So we're in cozies now. At least I am. Marissa somehow is in bottoms, like cargoes, thriving and slaying. Um, I think the temperature is gonna drop, and I'm just gonna get really, really chilly. So another day, another slay. I don't even know what area we're in, but it's so cute. Look at this. It reminds me of BC area. In there, and I got this little baby pearl necklace, and then I also got this stacked ring, the top one. The bottom one I got yesterday, and then Marissa got this one which has these little sparkles on it little diamonds right there Cute. and it's like a little chain link she wanted one that was a little bit like chunkier oh, statement, -y. statement yeah, yeah. Statement. so I took my other one off I was gonna get like a drop pearl but I liked this one because you can kind of see it all the way around now we're going to go meet up with Haley to get some dinner but this, this area is oh, so cute. Away. Morning. Okay, Morning. so Marissa and I woke up and right now I'm like gathering all my things to pack. Because we had to go downstairs and ask when checkout was. I was hoping that they would give us late checkout, but apparently they're super busy. So our checkout is at 11. I was hoping for like noon or something. 10.30 probably. And we're packing our things up. We went down to Starbucks and it was a catastrophe because there was just an issue with the orders. But I got pumpkin chai latte with a shot of espresso. They had to remake mine. But Marissa got the same, just without the espresso. It's just only milk, basically. Yeah, but it's good milk. Good milk. Now we're going to get ready to head down, leave our suitcases, and then probably go get some breakfast, some real food. Marissa's over there, and then Libby's right here on the bed and whatnot, my packing cubes that are ready to be stocked up. Slay! It's our last day. This is so sad. I'm sad. Boy. All right, y'all. We're packed up. We're past checkout. Nobody's come to like kick us out. We had yet. to make a TikTok. We first. did make a TikTok. It's true. We've cleaned up a little bit, and now we're gonna head to whatever breakfast place. I had a lot of recommendations from you guys on my TikTok for places to go in Chicago and all that. So I think I'm just gonna scroll through there and find something, or we might come across something. Who knows? Goodbye to our hotel room. Love you. We tried to get bagels, but the place wasn't hitting for what we thought it was. So we're now at Barrel Weekend Brunch. Or, no, I'm sorry, it's the Black Barrel Tavern in the West Loop. So cute, we just got these watermelon slices as our appetizer. Got a Virgin Bloody Mary because I love tomato juice. I just don't need the alcohol in my life. Uh, we're gonna eat here and then probably head back to the hotel and grab our things. Because I have to leave. So, a curried salmon toast. So it has the cream cheese, dill cream cheese, smoked salmon, fried egg, potatoes. And then we also got a burrata with share. So, yeah. This is awkward. Hi guys. Um, just had to pick up this camera from the Black Tavern over there. 
because Libby left it at a table. And so thank goodness my train didn't leave till a later time and I was able to just like reroute at a stop, pick up the camera, go back to Union Station. I'm sure I'm just gonna ship it to her, but Libby, you're chaotic. Good morning. Um, still here, you're still with me in Michigan. We are on our way to actually go ship this camera to Libby. I think I'm gonna overnight it to her, but Libby, this is the last time you forget your camera. We're on our way to ship it. I hope this arrives quickly, and I hope it, like, I don't know why I have this, like, overwhelming fear. Because of the heat in Houston, I'm, like, so scared that the, the camera's just gonna, like, melt. Is that irrational? Anyways, I'll see you at FedEx. There's FedEx. Even more chaotic. Libby's battery... Libby's battery died, so I had to bring my camera and put my battery in her camera so I could like keep you guys updated, but I can't go in with you because we're shipping it and I need my battery back. Anyways, we're nighting it. Ask Libby. Again, this is not a sleigh. This is not a sleigh. Love you, Libby. Goodbye. Hey, listen. I'm so happy to see you guys again. It's been a day or so since you probably just talked to Marissa and my camera is finally home. I'm just so thankful that I got here in one piece and that Marissa was so kind, so generous, and so close where she could actually go pick it up for me and then she did the sweet gesture of shipping it back to me because you guys my entire life is on my camera my SD card I would have been fine buying a new camera but it's the SD card okay it's the it's everything that's on it so I think that's gonna wrap up this video I think that it is okay Chicago was so fun it was just really nice to actually leave and not go for a work trip or a Gymshark trip whatever it may be just to like sporadically book a trip with one of my best friends and enjoy it and just explore together and have fun and just make memories it was the best thing ever so if you have the chance to do that with one of your close friends and if you you guys live distantly whatever it may be i feel like i have a lot of friends that live farther away from me this is like my first time i feel like doing this other than greece with abby that was like a crazy time too yeah i'm happy to be home i have kind of settled back into my routine i just didn't get to vlog it much oh my gosh i can't believe it we're actually like at the end of this vlog i don't want it to end i'm so excited to edit this and to see all the footage back but i hope that you guys enjoyed this crazy week in my life I feel like i need some more of these like a chill crazy week you know what I mean? Not like chaos, but just like sporadic, if that makes sense. Let me know your favorite part of this video. Make sure you guys give this video a like so I know that you enjoyed it. So be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss a video with me. And you can keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen. And I will talk to you guys later.